video. Today I am so damn excited. I feel like everyone's kind of heard of the Keep It Cleaner app. I think like in this sort of community it is widely known. A lot of you girls would probably be on it already but I thought this could just be like a fun challenge to do today. If you don't know what the Keep It Cleaner app is, it's essentially run by two Australian fitness gals, Laura and Steph. They are absolute legends. Also, should disclaim, this is so not sponsored by Keep It Cleaner, but I wish. <laughs> no, I pay the yearly membership. I use it all the time, just like search for quick workouts or search for recipes. It has like a calendar. So I can look at today and it'll have breakfast, lunch, dinner, workouts, challenges planned for me for the whole day. Tomorrow is gonna be completely different and the next day is gonna be completely different. So it's really, really cool. Today, I'm going to be making the breakfast, the lunch, and the dinner that it's recommending, and also do the workouts, the challenge, and the meditation. Also, I'm having one of those hair days today where it's like, just, I, I don't even know. It's just so oily and disgusting. So I've just got it slicked back in a bun. Whoa, it's a mess, okay? It's a mess. So with that being said, I am going to get straight into breakfast because I woke up starving. <laughs> I need food. Let's have a little look at the app. I looked at it before and then I totally forgot. So today, I think it's a tropical breakfast smoothie, which I'm so in the mood for. So I need coconut milk. I'll probably use almond milk or soy milk. Let's be real. Do I really stick to recipes on this channel? Absolutely not. A banana, a mango. <gasps> Do I have bananas? Geordie, if you ate the last banana, I've got one left. My lucky day. Frozen mango and rolled oats. It is only four ingredients. Knowing me, I'll probably find other things to add in. Anyway, I'm starving. Let's just get straight into it and go and make this tropical breakfast smoothie. Let's pretend that this angle isn't absolutely awful. Starting with some oats. I guess I'm just gonna chuck it in because I always follow measurements. A lot of people like to chop it up nicely, but I'm all for just like a bit of chunks, you know? I got this almond milk in the mail. It was with my goodness me box, right? But it's a chamomile almond milk. I don't know if that's gonna make it taste a little bit funky. It is just this brand. I have frozen mango. No measurements required here, sister. I'm gonna tip in the rest of this almond milk. I think that looks pretty good to me. This is the fun part where I'm going to zhuzh the smoothie just a little bit. So I've got some shredded coconut. Mango and coconut is just always a good time, FYI. I am a sort of person who absolutely loves a bit of texture in the smoothie. I love crunching my smoothies. Wow. You guys would have seen this cranberry granola in my last video. I put it on like oats, in cereal, in smoothies. It's so delicious. It's like almond cranberry. I'm just gonna chuck a tiny bit. Oh, she crunchy. I love it. And then you can just like mix it on through so you get a bit of coconut in every sip let's be real you guys are probably sick of seeing my kitchen so i've decided to have breakfast in the bedroom that's so good that is delicious so we are now moving on to the workout so i am actually doing a strength workout today and then followed by a an, like an ab challenge i think it is <laughs>
Oh my gosh, I'm so out of breath after that challenge. I am feeling good, I'm feeling sweaty, which is exactly what I wanted today. But I will check in with you guys when I am having lunch. Hello guys, so it is lunch time now. It's actually exactly one o'clock, um, so it is a little bit later, but I did have to go to the shops and buy some capsicums to make this lunch. I'm so excited, I've never had anything like this before, so I'm hoping it turns out good the recipe is capsicum love boats if you do have the app you can just like search it in the recipe menu it's not dairy free but I'm obviously going to make it dairy free so step one is to preheat your oven to 180 I feel like I am just going to kind of make it how I think it should be made because this whole like adding the halloumi thing kind of makes it quite different so I'm just gonna do it how I would do it and put in the same sort of ingredients obviously with like a vegan cheese I've just got this um vegan cheese that I got from Aldi um and I think it was like it was only three dollars or something like that so I would highly recommend it is really really delicious dinner dinner <clears throat> while we wait for lunch to cook lunch we're having lunch as we were coming home from the shops the postie was out the front and we got a little package from cotton on I ordered this last week because honestly I just felt like it I just wanted to treat myself um, so this is the big box that came in the mail today so I thought I'd just do a little unboxing maybe nine or ten different things and it was so cheap they had like 30% off um, site-wide and I think altogether I spent like $140 so such a bargain I'm so happy about that Ooh, Jordy. oh Jordy dun 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 oh. <laughs> A stick-on bra because I have had my one stick-on bra for what feels like actually no it doesn't feel like it's definitely been over five years that's disgusting thank you oh I don't I don't remember ordering that color cool okay I'll take it first off the bat we have some pants oh they feel amazing I think these are like a drop crotch sort of pant yes they are Yay! Did I get an extra little? Yes, I did. I got some undies. These are the ones I wear literally every day of my life. I just wanted to get some cool colors, so I did. I can't be the only one who like places an online order and you're like, I don't even remember what I put in my basket. Okay, this is more like wintry because it is getting a little bit colder now. This is like a skivvy sort of thing. It's just like a long sleeve top with a turtleneck. I thought it was cute, cute colour, could go with lots of things. They sent the hanger with it. <laughs> oh, this is cute. Oh yeah. <laughs> this is the one thing I was like, I just need this. And it is a huge puffer jacket, which I thought was so cute. So it is this big old puffer jacket. It's kind of cropped, so it goes to about here, but I thought like when 5.30 club starts back up, I'm gonna need some puffer jackets. So this one I thought was very, very cute. I did wanna get it in baby pink. I will say I really, really wanted to, but I own a lot of things in baby pink and I thought maybe I should step outside of my comfort zone and go for a blue. This is what it looks like. I think it's got like buttons. Oh, it does. Then again, got some undies. I don't know why, like some of them have got hangers and some of them have got individual bags. I'm very confused. Okay, this, I do not remember putting this in my basket. <laughs> a little crop top. Maybe I can wear that with the trackies or something like that. Cute for bed. And then lastly, I got some white tracky pants. So they are just these ones. They're really nice and ridiculously soft on the inside. <laughs> This is how they've turned out. Smells amazing. I hope it's The eggs good. looks really good, actually. Looks pretty cool. Look at that. Wow. Oh my gosh. Is it good? Yeah. Oh, 
It's really good. Oh. Amazing. I just realized I haven't even vlogged much this afternoon, but we are at the beach now and it looks absolutely beautiful. Instead of walking on the path like what we usually do, we've chosen, we've opted for the beach option, which is actually so good. And I reckon we'll go for um, a bit of a swim. I don't know. Do you want it? It's cold. But yeah, we can get the I reckon it'll be nice. Yeah, I go for a swim and then I go guess home. like we'll Have go some home. Dinner. Have some dinner. You know what we're having for dinner tonight? Mac and cheese. Mac and cheese. Vegan? Yes, I'm going to make it vegan. Ah! Is it not in the Keep It Cleaner app? No, so in the Keep It Cleaner app, it has mozzarella, which we yeah. don't eat. So, well, you can eat, I can't. But um, yeah, we're just gonna opt for a dairy-free alternative. I'll use the dairy-free cheese, nutritional yeast. It is finally dinner time. I'm so excited and so hungry. Oh my gosh. So I'm going to pull up the recipe and see what we have here. We also bought this from Woolworths, which is a plant-based mushroom mac and cheese made with nutritional yeast. So I'm like, should we be extra lazy and do this? What I am going to do, now this is kind of cheating again, but um, we don't have cauliflower, we do have pumpkin. And I feel like if I just make it with pumpkin, it's gonna be like a pumpkin soup rather than a mac and cheese, especially because I can't have the dairy. So I think I might do this and then add most of these ingredients to it so that we do get a hit of veggies and everything like that and then follow like this recipe guide alrighty so these are the things that we have going on once the water is boiled I'm gonna pop that one in there and kind of like leave that to do its own thing whereas the pumpkin one where I'm kind of following this recipe a bit more I'm gonna do it all in here so chopping up a brown onion a clove of garlic the pumpkin I'm um, gonna put some mixed herbs, nutritional yeast. I'm gonna use the rest of that in there. Can of coconut milk and also two vegetable stock cubes and then along with some water. And then we've got this like random pasta that we've never tried before, but it's like spinach and tomato, I think. We've got this one going at the moment. Then that is going to go in the blender and then get chucked in with the pasta and the rest of that stuff. I've got a cute koala attached to me. It looks so good, it smells so good. I'm so excited. I'm very excited too. This is gonna be delicious. Alrighty, block your ears. And pour it on into the pasta. Okay, so this is definitely quite a large serve. So this is going to last us a few meals, I wanna say. Nice and creamy, all dairy free. Such a good time. Looks so good, I'm so happy with that. So delicious, so creamy. Highly recommend it. And I think I might just wrap up that video here. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, <laughs> give me a thumbs up down below and subscribe and hit the bell and do all oh that God. Kind of stuff. <laughs> My name is Jess. I make new videos every three days. So I will see you in three days. <laughs>